double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles and bishops of Great Stone, to the Akim and Alquaf, to the four corners of the earth, holding on the earth and truth into the genius of mind, to the gospel of the Lord of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, this lesson is for the hopeful elect to let us know that uh, the Most High is watching at all times. The Most High have his angels watching at all times, setting up uh, a report to return unto the Lord. And then uh, judgment appears. So this is a, a footage of a uh, woman then, that they were saying the cop shot. You know, but uh, sad case. But hey, the Lord has uh, <clears throat> his judgment ready for her, because uh, the Lord is no joke, man. These women, man, they want to live a life without accountability. The Lord will have to bring a brutal rebuke upon them, and uh, she end up losing her life. Who knows what happened with a baby? That's what it is, you know. Yeah. You know, the, the, the Lord is not a respect to a person, man. What she did was totally uncalled for. But what can you say, man? You know, the warning. Well, I guess she didn't take heed. And the Lord had to judge her for that, man. So let me get this quick precept. You know, the, the law of the Lord, the law, the, the, the commandments of the law of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, are there for a particular reason. All right, are there for a particular reason. So let me get this quick precept, man. You know, just concerning uh, the attitude we should have on this truth. You just don't go off uh, what they post, what the people post online. You just let the dust settle and uh, let the facts come out. All right. So the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 7 says this Blame not. Before thou hast examined the truth, understand first, understand first, then rebuke. Sirach 11 and 7, blame not before thou hast examined the truth, understand first, then rebuke. Yes, yeah, so this is how men of the Lord protect themselves from getting their heartstrings pulled by events and social media, man, you know. So you have to learn that uh, the Lord expects us to judge righteous judgment, all right? And uh, when they first posted a video online about uh, her driving away with a cop in front before I put a bullet in her, those videos got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views, but this surveillance footage, the proof don't get nothing, you know? And the same thing could be said about uh, the Rasta Skank uh, video with the Apostles, you know. That video got uh, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of views, man. But the following video never got as much as it expected, you know, as, as much as we expected it to get. People were just there for the drama. They were there for the emotions. And... Uh, that's what it is. It just shows you that uh, this truth is not for everybody. And uh, hey, the judgment of the Lord brought upon her. You know, it's not uh, something to ignore. It's a very serious thing that uh, she got herself involved in. And the Lord had to hold her accountable for that. So uh, the commandment of the Lord tells you clearly, man. Exodus chapter 20. Uh, verse 15, it tells you clearly, you know, what you're supposed to uh, observe, guidelines, instructions of life, all right? Exodus chapter 20, verse 15, it says, Thou shalt not steal, all right? Thou shalt not steal, it's that simple, you know? But her going that, ra that route, she became a victim of her own lusts greed you know several bottles of of liquor you know what's she gonna do with it since she's pregnant and you know how the medical doctors always say if you were pregnant stay away from alcohol all right so exodus chapter 20 verse 15 
Abaya. Alright. La A Taganab. Alright. La A Taganab. Not still. Alright. Thou shalt not steal. And that's the same thing. You know, we always tell our brothers, man. You know, have a have a a sense of uh, pride about uh, honoring the Lord in your daily life, so you don't get tempted by your weaknesses, man. When our people go out, go for their lusts, this is what happens. They become a victim of their own greed. They become a victim of uh, evil concupiscence, and that's what it is, you know. So. Uh, Hey, you can't shed a tear for her, man. You just shake your head and, uh, you know, let us be a warning, you know, to those of our people that choose not to uh, honor the Lord. The Lord has several ways of, of uh, punishing. And this is a punishment, man. You know, the, the scripture talks about uh, paying double. But what did she do? She paid double. You know, she, <laughs> she paid double. You know, she lost her life, including that of the child, too. You know, so it's just a, a sad situation, man. Well, that's a restitution she had to she had to make. Double. She paid double for, for, for alcohol. <laughs> for something that is just a temporary, uh, a temporary distraction. And uh, it's just the judgment of the Lord, man. You know, you can't uh, feel sad. You can't be upset. You just have to... Uh, Praise the Lord that you don't have to deal with any extra headaches. You know, the Lord has to bring his judgment. And uh, what else can we do, man? You just got to thank the Lord for giving us an opportunity to have a moment of correction. And correction is always grievous to, fool, to fools. Imagine how many times, you know, she had to uh, be corrected. But then on this fateful day, she gambled. You know, she she and she lost big. You know, she gambled and she lost big. So let me read a quick precept from our book of Ephesians, chapter four, verse twenty-eight. It says, "Let uh, him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he." may have to give to him that need it all right i read it uh with veer this time around ephesians chapter 4 verse 28 let him that steal all right let him that stole all right ephesians 4 28 let him that stole steal no more just like i was told the man go and see no more that's that simple all right ephesians 4 28 let him that stole steal no more but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may give to him that need it. So you're supposed to protect yourself by making the right decisions. So you could also be a blessing to others. And that's what the scripture is talking about. May I honor the Lord with your thoughts and your actions so you can be a blessing it could be a, a a source of protection to others and that's what it is love thy neighbor as thou loveth thyself all right she didn't uh, take that principle to heart and this is the the evidence of that so let me play the clip and then you just understand that uh, <sighs> the judgment of the lord is not something we just turn a blind eye to Takaya Young's family has been calling for the full release of all the video, and today Blendon Township released two new surveillance videos, plus an extension of the body-worn camera videos from the two officers. TV's Lacey Crisp is at Blendon Township Police to walk us through the video and the timeline of events. Blendon Township Police released 40 minutes of video today. Some of that video shows Takaya Young taking bottles of alcohol and putting it into her bag, then walking out of the store. Another video shows officers rendering aid. A warning, this video is tough to watch. Yeah, just like a, a, a few weeks ago, man, I did a short lesson about women losing their lives. 
due to alcohol. Just another example. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, women are catching up, man, with that trend of self-destruction. You know, and they, they're about to surpass men if that's the case. You know, so, hey, you know, Kahalalim La Yahabashimu Shabashimu Kakadash for bringing his judgments to pass. It's a righteous thing, it's a holy thing to see the Lord show his power in this uh, incident. Video from inside the state liquor at Kroger is time stamped 6.21 p.m. and shows Takaya Young walking around the aisles. Then, taking a bag out of her purse, she then takes more than a half dozen bottles of alcohol and puts them in her bag and a basket. She walks out of the store with two other women at 627. Police say she didn't pay for the alcohol. Exterior store surveillance video begins at 627 p.m., according to the timestamp, showing the officers in the parking lot helping a woman who locked herself up. Yeah, so you see how a lot of works, man. The officers were there trying to help a woman that locked herself out of her car. And all this uh, greed and uh, deep truth attitude of the so-called black women just happened to have <laughs> take place at the same time. Yeah, so the Lord set a trap for her, man. On this day, at this time, I just let me just say it as it is. The Lord set it up in the heavens, set up his messengers to go put a thought in our mind and the thoughts of our friends. On August 24th, 2023, around 6.30, this is going to be the, the final day of her life. She's going to go into this store and steal, and then the cops are going to be there helping another, another person <laughs> with a vehicle. And then she's going to get shot. And that's it. So, I mean, how else could you put it, man? This is just a perfect scenario of how the law could take out someone. You know, what, what you call a surgical strike? This is a, a surgical strike from the Heavenly Father. This is what you call that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All right? So the Lord is not joking around, man. You got to pray the Lord have mercy upon us for our faults and repent. Repent, repent, repentance, man. That's what a lot of people need to uh, focus more on, repentance. All right? Out of her car, you can see Young walk to her black Lexus that was backed into a handicapped parking spot. Within seconds, the store employee runs out and gets the officer's attention. They then approach Young's car. At 628, Young begins to drive forward with the officer in front of the car. Body-worn camera video shows that the car starts moving. The officer fires one shot. Some of the video is too graphic to show, but the car... But that's what it is, man. One shot was all that the Lord required to be discharged from that weapon. So the Lord put her in the path of that bullet to get shot. And uh, you can't feel sad, you can't be upset, you can't be running around protesting and calling for the heads of the officer. That's just the judgment of the Lord. The Lord put those officers there for a reason, to bring judgment of her, upon her. Somebody needed help, they were there to help. Somebody needed judgment, the judgment came. Just in time. All right? So that's how the Lord operates, man. The Lord's always going to use one opportunity to take care of another opportunity. All right? So let me get another quick precept. All right. So it's going to be from the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 26, verses 10 and 11. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. So you have to put her on the right path. Lest she abuse herself through over much liberty and then she uh yes judge like this man you know she took advantage of uh the lack of uh an opportunity to do the right thing and then she got judged for it you know yeah she got judged for it for making the wrong choice you don't uh do evil and expect good to come out of it 
And that's a problem that uh, our whole nation, the nation of Israel, need to learn from. You don't sin and expect the Lord to bless you. That's something that uh, we have to take uh, seriously at all times. Sirach chapter 26 verse 11, Watch over her, watch over an impudent eye, and marvel not if she trespass against thee. And this is just a result, you know. This is just a result of her not having the discipline, not having the home training, not having the the care for her child, not having the, the you know the the name of the family in her regard. This is just uh, the results, man. You know, so she got she got judged. You know, got judged. That's just what it is. You know, brothers would be so excited that oh well, she gotta go. Let's drink to that. Cheers. Yeah, so that's what it is, man. You're going to expect more and more of these things to happen. People will be losing their lives over unnecessary, uh, unnecessary items, okay? Does the baby need liquor? Is it a necessity? You know, is it necessary to go buy a liquor for, uh, for, <laughs> for an event that has nothing to do with the, your health? You know, so poor choices man you know she gambled big and she lost big that's what it is man the lord is not to respect her persons hey the lord had to call her back you know the lord was tired of her you know messing up so the lord had to take her out and that's how brutal the lord can be so uh, another precept would be from the book of romans yeah man romans you can imagine the pain and anguish and the shame that a family have to deal with now you know so how are they going to proceed with the lawsuits you know now what is the lawyer going to do what is the lawyer going to do how are you going to you know sue the police department it's not going to work yeah so it's basically an open and shut case man you know, the investigation complete. It's a wrap. You know, she messed up twice. She stole. She didn't want to give it up. Driving away with a vehicle, you know, towards the officer. The officer had to take care of business. That's all it is, man. You know, that's all it is. Yeah, so Romans chapter 13, verses uh, 3 and 4. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? All right, so it's talking about uh, the governing body, all right, the governments, all right? Yeah, so when you're doing the right thing, don't be afraid, you know? Romans 13 and 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works but to the evil will thou then not be afraid of the power do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same so you're still going to get commended for doing the right thing you know it's not as if uh Esau is righteous to reward you for for being a good citizen but it's just that at least you can have some peace of mind that uh you're not on the list of uh, criminals being looked, you know, being, being searched for. You don't have your, your list, your name on the list of uh, folks that have an active warrant and all that stuff, you know, always running around, hiding in the dark, looking over your shoulder, praying that uh, you don't get caught. You don't have that type of mindset, you know, it's because uh, you're trying to please the Lord, you're trying to obey the laws of the land that's uh, in agreement with the words of the Lord. Romans 13 and 4. For he is the minister of Yahweh to thee for good. Alright. So he's basically there to make sure you don't uh, mess up man. <laughs> so you don't buck up and become a miscreant. You don't become a disturbance. To the plans of the Lord. But if thou do that which is evil. Be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of Yahweh, 
a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So that's basically the judgments of the Lord, you know, that came upon her. And uh, her friends, you know, got away. But, uh, hey, she thought she could uh, finesse her way out of the situation. And that's just what it is, man. You know, she could have passed the bottle on to them. But in this case, the Lord made it her, <laughs> her own choice. You know, the Lord made it her own choice to try to act courageous and get judged for it. You know, all she had to do was just give up, take the charge, you know, return the bottles, you know, plead for leniency. But, uh, hey, when she stepped on that gas pedal, all the Lord needed to do was release the gas from that uh, chamber with a bullet, with a projectile in it. And that's, that's a sad case, man. That's a sad case. Yeah, so uh, let's just get one more precept and I'll wrap it up. This is First Peter chapter 2, verses uh, 19 and uh, 20, I believe. All right. All right, so this is it. First Peter 2, 19. For this is tank worthy if a man for conscience toward Yahweh endure grief, suffering wrongfully. So there's nothing wrong in maintaining your integrity if you are being accused of doing something you never did. Okay? For what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults, so when you're getting judged for your uh, for your misdeeds, for your sins, you have no excuse, all right? You shall take it patiently. That's what it is, man. You know, you have to be held accountable at some point. But if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, this is acceptable with Yahweh Ba'ashim Ha'ashai Ba'ashim Ha'akadash. And that's all it is, man. You know, that's what the Lord expects from us. We suffer for the wrong things we do, including for the things we never did. You have to learn how to walk the balance. That's what it is. It's about balance. All right? Don't get out of character because so you've been wrongly prosecuted. And you don't get out of character for getting judged righteously. All right? That's all it is. You have to learn to walk that tight that tight rope. That's how the Lord, you know, has set up his uh his doctrine for us. You know? When you're getting judged for the things you you did that are wrong, you take it. When the Lord is judging you to keep you on the straight path, you still take it. That's what it means to maintain your integrity. Alright? That's the same thing that Job had to endure. Alright? So we have to take that lesson and uh, build upon it and not get distracted because of our feelings, all right? We're not looking for the easy way out. We're looking for the right way forward, okay? So uh, let's see. Uh, one more precept uh, from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, 13 and 14. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Hashem Kadash, and keep His commandments, and that's what this lesson is all about, man. Understand the value of the Lord's commandments. That could have uh, been a, a plus for her, just to let it go, let go of those evil thoughts, let go of mortal thoughts, sinful thoughts. She would have been still alive today, you know. She would have saved her family for a lot of shame. You know, for this is the whole duty of man. So this is our whole focus, to learn to please the Heavenly Father. Verse 14, Ecclesiastes 12 and 14, For Yahweh Hashem 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 Kadash shall bring every work into judgment, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yeah, so... 
That's the whole idea, man. We have to learn to fear the Lord and keep His commandments. That's all it is, man. You know, that's all it is. Yeah, so just see what else uh, this lesson has in the video. Continues forward, and officers pull Young from the car at 6.29 p.m. You got medics. Shots fired, being medic. According to body-worn camera video, from the time officers pull Young from the car to when the officer runs for a first aid kit is about 19 seconds. I got you. The two officers try to stop the bleeding and give CPR. She's going to run me over. I know she will. Stand by. Other officers arrive on scene and the investigation begins. The officer who shot Young walks away with the other officers. With the release of the video, Blendon Township Police Chief John Belford said in his statement, This was a tragic situation for everyone. We recognize that these videos will create more discussion and even anger by people who have passionate feelings for or against the officer's actions. But we're simply complying with our promise of transparency and our obligation to release public records as required by state law. Yep, so that's what it is, Akim. You know, you got to be careful, you know, with uh, the decisions uh, we make. Because at any point in time, man, the law could bring a heavy judgment. So brothers got to be, uh, you know, appreciative of the lessons the Lord has given to us. You know, not indulge on us in, in, in our in our foolishness man in, in indulging in foolishness comes with a heavy price you can imagine you can imagine the uh the shame the disgrace that the family has to deal with you know the proof is in the pudding and this is the proof right here man you know the shame now the family could be looked at as a whole family of criminals and shoplifters. You know, something for nothing. You know, you have people that build a business trying to make a living for themselves and then you have uh, the five finger discount crew just coming in, showing up, you know. So that's a, that's a sad thing. That's why a lot of Jakes cannot uh, succeed when they have a business because Jake's always stealing from Jake's, man. You know, crab in the barrel mentality. That stuff is real. You know, people work so hard to set up a business and all of a sudden, robberies, 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 and carjackings. You know, carjacking uh, vehicles with a child in the back seats, breaking into people's homes, you know, running people's pockets. All that stuff, man. It's just uh, something that the Lord is going to be addressing one after the other. And, uh, you know, when the Day of Judgment comes around, man, hey, that'll be the final solution. So that's the point of the Akim. You know, don't uh, let uh, the media draw you one way without uh, letting, <laughs> letting the facts settle. That's what life is all about, man. It's about examining the facts before making a decision. So I hope you've been edified by Hashem Shai, by Hashem Kadash. Shalom.